Hey everyone, it's Tony here with Nerds of Sleep, bringing you guys another Good Smile Company Pop-Up Parade unboxing. Uh, now, <laughs> I had a little bit of a problem uh, with this video at first. I kind of uh, shot the beginning of this video and uh, then deleted and permanently deleted the opening for this video. So, uh, here I am uh, starting again. <laughs> but yeah, uh, today... I'm going to be doing Darkness from Kanasuba. Now, in my previous videos that I've done, I have done the winter versions of Megamine and Aqua. Now, I do not have the winter version of Darkness yet. Thought I did, but I didn't. So, one of my random picks this week was the standard version of Darkness. Now, this is, as you can see, an older pop-up parade as well. So, we have three different sets of Kanasuba pop-up parades. We have the standard ones, we have the winter versions, and then we have the summer ones, which are them in their bathing suits, which Darkness does not have one yet as of this video. So um, I did record a couple of videos today. I did a white shorts pack break as well today. So check that out if you're interested in the TCG scene. But uh, we're going to go ahead today and we're going to check this one out and um, kind of just by looking at her in this box here, she's going to be pretty awesome. So another one I'm looking forward to checking out and uh, hopefully you guys are too. But um, with that said, let's try to cut this one short, make it a quick video and uh, take a look at her box right now. All right. So as you can see here, she is the old style box here. It's your uh, Kanasuba pop a parade uh darkness and one thing i did notice here with this one in particular is the max factory logo here in the front and on the back um not something i've seen in a lot of them so i wonder not too familiar with uh if they were doing the a collaboration at one point but uh, as you can see the clear front and the clear sides so you can kind of get a general idea of what you're looking at in the back here, uh, if you use Google Translate, is your friend. You can find out all the information about this piece here, as well as, like I said again, there's a Max Factory logo on the back here. So again, we're going to have another clear side, back to the front, and a clear window on the top. So uh, pretty standard box for the pop-up parades. Again, I like them because you can take a look at what you're getting. So with that being said, let's take a look inside at what we're gonna get okay so i got my little cutter and we are going to move the stupid goddess over here to the other side out of the way and we are going to make our three cuts here and i don't want to cut my finger okay three cuts there i guess i need a little bit more space it's gonna be a little loud because these clamshells are loud clamshell her out and again there are going to be some cuts here you're gonna have to make do not cut too deep into this. You don't want to cut the statue. But there is some tape here to cut. And I think I got it. And now, I'm going to be loud again. Hold on a minute. There we go. Cracked her open. Now, I'll show you guys here. Darkness has a yellow base here. So, different color for a change. She has a yellow base. And you're going to have two plugs here for where her foot peg is going to go. And it looks like she is all one unit right here. Now, be mindful, the plastic is stuck underneath her hair, which I just moved it all out of the way now. So be careful you don't just pull her right out of the plastic because you may actually damage the tips of her hair. So it looks like she is all, again, one solid piece like these pop-up parades tend to be. Looks like she is going to be really, really awesome. Um, <laughs> definitely uh, definitely in character for Darkness. Now she has one peg larger than the other, so they should clip right down into that base very easily. And boom, she is here all in one piece, and she's done. So uh, I am already going to tell you I really like this one <laughs> just, just from looking at it right now. So, uh, without further ado, I'm going to bring you guys in, give you guys the full 360, maybe give you a peek of Aqua, maybe give you a peek of Megamine and, uh, you know, the rest of the girls. So 
Let's bring you guys in, clear this mess off, and check her out right now. So I'm gonna go a little free camera right here as usual and show you this really, really awesome darkness piece. Uh, she looks really, really cool. I am definitely impressed by this considering, that especially this is one of the older pieces. Uh, she came out really, really good. Uh, I definitely dig in this one a lot. Uh, just kind of everything about the way they modeled this one. She came out really awesome. So I, I, I can appreciate it. But I'm going to let you guys zoom in real close right now. Kind of give you guys a better look at darkness. Let's see. Here's a molding on her, her uh, boots, her armored boots. They look really, really good. And again, her, her skirt and everything else looks really good. Colors are very well done. Um, same thing here, even with like her straps. Everything's very well done. And again, as you can see here, she's... Uh, I'm going to pick her up real quick. She's 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 all solid up in here. She's got her her leggings on and everything like that. So <clears throat> not getting any undie shots, guys. Sorry. Um, she's got her her kind of her torn sleeves right here, like usual. And uh, you know her her bow, uh, um, her 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 bow up there is really really um, uh, uh, gravity defying, I guess. Um, <laughs> and this is right here is the best part. Her face is amazing like the way they made her face just that is just that is darkness like to a t uh everything about this piece just screams like hurt me please hurt me please like it's it's great i, I love it i love the way they did this uh the hair came out really good for being all molded piece like this uh nothing looks sloppy or anything like that Again, the little bows in her hair look good, and uh, yeah, she she came out really awesome. I am I am totally digging this one a lot. Um, I'm gonna show you guys her, <coughs> show you guys her zoomed out again. Definitely a great piece. Um, I, I definitely like her a lot, and I'm gonna show you real quick her with the other two. So here she is with the, these are the winter versions of Aqua and Mega Me, where this is not the winter version of Darkness. But as you can see, she still looks really awesome with the two of them. So I'm going to give you a little peek real quick. Here is the winter Mega Me. And if you want to see her, I did an unboxing of her as well as Aqua 2. So you can check both those videos out on the channel if you want to take another look at them. And of course, here is Darkness with the ladies of Kanasuba. So they definitely go really well together. So really cool pieces. One more little bonus for you guys. I'm going to show you guys right here. This is the Sega Prize Kanasuba 2 Darkness prize figure compared to the Papa Parade. Now, I mean, as you can see, I mean, obviously she's fully armored here, whereas here she's kind of in her uh, hurt me, hurt me plenty mode. And uh, as you can see here, um, you look at the face on this darkness and she just looks very innocent, very plain, um, very kind of blah. And you look at the Papa Parade and you just like, you know who you're dealing with right there. Like, you know who that is. So again, just little details make this one pop a lot more. So just wanted to show you guys that before we close out this video. Okay. So that was it for another Impressive, I guess we'll call her. Uh, Papa Parade by Good Smile. Now, again, I don't know why people hate on these so much. Um, because with the exception of two that we've done here on this channel, and I've done, I think, a dozen now at least, these are really well made. Now, again, I even had the Sega Prize figure, which does stand taller. Uh, but everything else about this one kind of stands out. So... It is, a, it is a little bit of a, a strange thing. Um, I love this darkness piece. She is so awesome. Everything about it, again, just screams the personality of her character. Kind of like what Mega Means did in her winter one. Like, this just showed her little cocky, confident, like, I'm going to do this. Like, you could just see it just from the figure. And I like that they added that little personality. So... 
Uh, with that being said, I, I think Darkness is amazing. I think she came out really well. And uh, on that note, I'm looking forward to getting her winter one. And I'm looking forward to when they reveal her summer costume, if unless I've missed it. But uh, definitely like this one a lot. And as a fan of Darkness, I got to say I love it. Uh, my honest score, I'm going to give it now. I'm going to give this an 8.5 out of 10 for me. Uh, she's not quite a 9, but she's damn near close. Um, now, this is on a scale figure rating scale. So I'm rating this as compared to other things in this scale, other prize figures, pop up rates, stuff like that. I'm not giving this an 8.5 out of something like against a, a Kotobuki Bishoujo or a Sideshow piece or something like that. This is scaling this to prize figures and things in that um, ilk. So I'm going to say she's really well made. She's really well put together. Uh, she's really uh, well um, built, I, I guess you could say. <laughs> and uh, and I like her a lot. I think she's awesome. I actually prefer her over the Sega prize figure. So um, with that being said... Um, yeah, I think that's going to wrap this video up for today. I do have some other things I want to shoot, uh, but because I screwed up shooting this one and deleting it, uh, everything but the unboxing, <laughs> um, I have to kind of redo everything. So uh, <laughs> you might hear Gigi playing Fortnite in the background. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, as you can see, uh, I'm doing a lot more videos now. I'm trying to get a lot more content put out for you guys. So there are at least two more videos coming out this week, um, possibly a three. So look forward to those. I know I have an Iron Studios piece. I have possibly another Weiss Schwartz card break and um, a surprise one that I'm going to be doing with Gigi. So be on the lookout for that. And uh, yeah, follow on all the socials pretty much everywhere now, even on Rumble. But I've so far only uploaded two videos. This is not really doing too good. And uh, yeah, like the video, comment on the video, follow the page, uh, click that subscribe button, click the dislike button if you did not like darkness for some reason. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye everyone.